Okay, so we learned the basics on creating different lights. Let's learn the basics on managing complex scenes with a lot of lights in them. So we have a few choices in order for us to do that. The first option and the easiest option is just select a selection filter. So in the top here, we have a lights only filter. And when I select this, you can see that I no longer can select anything that is not a light source. So this is a very quick and easy way to select a group of lights without accidentally selecting geometry or anything else. And this works for other things too, as you can see. The other way we can do that is by using the scene explorer, which is this window here to the left. So as you can see, the great advantage of using this is that we can select the light and it's targeted. So this is very useful when we have a lot of targets in the exact same position because we can select them through here. In this situation, you can see how important it is to rename your lights, otherwise it's going to be very confusing. And one last resource that we can use is the Light Lister. So the Light Lister is in Tools, Light Lister. This is a very useful tool for managing complex scenes because it gives you a quick overview of all the lights that you have in your scene. So as you can see, they are separated by type and you have access to the main settings on each specific light. You can even rename them. One other cool feature is that when you have instances, they are all grouped in a single object because basically the settings then to change on one of them are going to affect all of them. So this is a very useful resource. We can select the lights here, we can turn them on and off, and there are all these basic settings that we can change here. Unfortunately, we cannot select a lot of them through here, either holding Ctrl or Shift. But this is still a very useful resource for making quick tweaks and changes in all your lights in the scene, or for you to have an overall view of what's going on. So this is it for light management in your scenes. And this concludes this module. In our next module, we're going to delve in more complex features of the lights. So I'll see you guys then.